respect the process, be patient. Don't be afraid to look at the long-term benefits of a healthy strategic partnership. This is Don't Fear Grit with Rob Taormina. Marketing strategies and advertising technologies to help you build a better business. Welcome to part three of this three-part series where we're talking about strategic partnerships. Um, But the episode right before this one, we had a great interview with two great professionals, Stephanie and Mike, who represent the mortgage and the real estate market. And they gave us an idea of the current state of real estate in uh, in this particular uh, market here on Long Island. Uh, But they also... Uh, talked a little bit about strategic partnerships, the importance of a healthy strategic partnership, which is what I want to dissect for you guys now to outline sort of seven ways to create clear win-wins for entering into a strategic uh, partnership. Now, number one is I want you to be able to see beyond the obvious, beyond what's what's right in front of you when it comes to um, the, a strategic partnership. And let's think of this in terms of a cookie. All right? I know this sounds weird, weird but, but everyone sort of uh, stick with me for a second. Imagine there is a, a, a cookie, a freshly baked chocolate chip cookie, and it's on the table. There's only one of them. And there's a strategic partner on one side of the table and yourself on the other. Don't look at a strategic partnership as trying to get a market share of this one cookie. But instead, you want to approach a strategic partnership as realizing that there's a whole tray of cookies being baked in the oven and therein lies all of the healthy benefits of that strategic partnership. This is a great way of approaching uh, approaching it, acknowledging the truth and a- acknowledging and being willing to not try to divvy up the one cookie, but going after the big picture, which is that there are a lot more uh, opportunities like there are cookies in the oven on the tray. There are a lot more customers out there that you could benefit from uh, uh, by uh, the virtue of entering into a strategic partnership. The second thing is I want you when entering into a a uh, strategic partnership to be very clear with that person your why why you want to enter into a strategic partnership being transparent is important because you want them to be aware what you're looking to get out of this because they're going to be equally motivated to making sure you get out of this that so that they're also getting something out of it as well. They want to maintain this as long as you want to maintain this. So being clear about what your expectations are and what you want to get out of it is important so that you're both working towards similar goals. Very important for that, guys. All right? Uh, The third thing is just like you want them to understand your why, you also now want to understand their why. What is their perspective? What is their goals? What is their objective? You need to find this out. Number one, does it align actually with your culture, with your goals, with your objective? Because if it doesn't, then they might not be a good strategic partner for you. And secondly, is you want to be aware of it similar to what I had just outlined to you before so that you can actually help them achieve their goals because you benefit as they benefit, right? The tide rises for all ships. Um, The fourth thing is that you want to be able to share vision and have something in common. You want to be able to achieve something together. This way, you know, I understand that one side will have an objective that might and will likely be different than the objective of the other party, but you do want something to be in common, okay? One example of something in common could be hey, listen, we want to build a list. Maybe the target is we want to build an email list of 10,000. You're going to be sharing that. That's fine. But a a common goal is to getting to 10,000 people uh, on that particular list. So have also a goal that is in common. Um, Also on this list, don't rush the process. Oftentimes we enter, uh, we try to enter into a strategic partnership. We get all excited because they say yes, and we're looking to get a benefit immediately. And we try to take advantage immediately. And that could really uh, rub that person the wrong way and ruin that as an opportunity. Respect the process. Be patient. Don't be afraid to look at the long-term benefits of a healthy strategic partnership. The other thing you want to um, be mindful of is expect to be a little bit uncomfortable. 
entering into a strategic partnership is leaving yourself a little bit vulnerable. And I understand that it could be uncomfortable, but expect that. Expect there to, there to be a level of being uncomfortable when entering into a strategic partnership. I want just to put everything out there for you guys. I want you to be aware of that as a potential byproduct of doing this. And uh, lastly, and again, this is just a short list or a lot of things I recommend researching this is put pen to paper, write everything down. If you're not a pen and a paper guy, at least type it out in a document, right? Make it official. When you're sitting down with a strategic partnership and you come to an agreement, put everything down, write it all down and come to an agreement. I even, uh, uh, you know, could suggest going as far as signing it together. Now it's not a contract. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying to enter into a contract, but I am saying let's all be accountable to this. And by writing it down, it's making it clear. Why are we doing this? What are we looking to get out of this together? What are we looking to do and grow together? Making it clear. Don't ever make any types of assumptions because that could definitely go the wrong way. Now, there are a ton of really great benefits to strategic partnerships. I'm a big fan. I've entered into many of them myself. Listen, some of them didn't work out. But just because some didn't work out doesn't mean I'm not going to continue to try to pursue them because I've also seen the benefit of strategic partnerships. They're absolutely wonderful. Um, and I'll leave you with some of the, the also the contingencies here. And I, episode, I, I outlined this in episode one, uh, which is number one is you want to enter into a strategic partnership with someone, right? who represents a customer base that is your potential customer, meaning they are currently servicing customers that align with your customer avatar that could be your potential customer, but also vice versa because there has to be a benefit to them as well. Number two is you want them to be a non-compete. You don't want to enter into a strategic partnership with someone who's providing the same exact service to your current customer base. You don't want to create that kind of competition. So what you want to do is find someone who's currently not offering the same services as you, but services the same types of customers as you. And that's how you really find the ideal strategic partner. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you came on board with episode three, this is actually part of a a three-part series where we really tear apart strategic partnerships. Um, I want to encourage you guys then to go back to episode one, go one, two, and three. In episode two, we went ahead and we interviewed Mike and Stephanie. They're amazing. They're killing it. They're doing a great job in their fields of um, you know mortgage and and, and real estate. They're doing a wonderful job. That that interview was incredible. They really became really transparent and they unloaded some really secret tips there, which I think everyone, regardless of their their industry that they're in, could really benefit from. So definitely go ahead and check that out. As always, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you guys. If you see some value, do me a favor, share this. Let's grow this community together. I love this community. It rocks. Um, but guys, remember, don't fear the process and don't fear grit. We'll see you next time.